Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here. Thanks for checking out another video. And this is the second video in my sort of pocket guide series, and we are doing Grong. And if you are uh, Alliance, obviously it will be uh, Grong the Unraveling, something like that. Anyway, so this is a pretty easy fight as well. It's really nice uh, second boss in the uh, Battle for Dazarlor raid. And this is just a normal kill. Uh, and let's just go ahead and get right to the uh, fight itself. So as a ranged player, uh, since we are Marksman Hunter here, uh, we want to stand in a group. Uh, in Heroic, you want to kind of like go two by two uh, to always have a buddy because whenever uh, he will, whenever he throws somebody, he will do a fear. And so as long as you are with somebody else, uh, you won't uh, be feared. Uh, so for example, uh, on Heroic, there's going to put a little mark above your head. So for example, if it's on me, I disengage back. It's a really easy way to do that. That way you're not in the group. And then it will throw the tank at you. So you also want to stick around with the tank and kind of walk him back to the group because he can get, uh, he can get feared and you do not want your tanks uh, getting feared. Uh, so the whole reason you stand uh, like I am not in this video actually, uh, you stand together as a group because once in a while these rockets will come down and it will drop a fire patch. So basically what you everybody wants to do is just move as a group. Uh, since this is normal though, it's a little bit easier and I was tired of getting hit by that fire. So the uh, robot that drops down, you do need to DPS that. So uh, as soon as it drops down, I always turn on that. Uh, then he will drop an orb. What the orb does is uh, it stops uh, Gronk's cast, so Zaft is usually the one that picks it up for our group, as you can see him over there grabbing it. Uh, you want to uh, make sure you don't get too many tantrums, because as you can see, the boss's health, uh, or his underneath his health there, excuse me, uh, like a focus bar type thing. Uh, when you want it to, once it hits 50, you want to make sure and use the orb, that way it will uh, cause the tantrum to only have, do twice, because four will pretty much be a wipe. Uh, it does up by uh, 25s. So it's pretty easy as a marksman hunter. Uh, I am running the Unerring Visions build that's on my channel. Uh, I am running with uh, Hunter's Mark obviously over uh, Streamline. Uh, Streamline can be used on this fight as well. Uh, but it's pretty much uh, turn on the antagonizer, uh, the, the robot, uh, DPS it down, uh, I didn't save cooldowns for it because it really wasn't that important. We had good enough DPS. After all, this is just normal uh, to where we could pop that pretty easy. Then you go back to Grong. It's pretty much as close to a patchwork fight as you're going to get, I think. Uh, it was a nice second boss uh, for our guild. We obviously have never wiped on this thing because it's uh, pretty, pretty easy. Uh, on this, as a marksman hunter, I just roll cooldowns. I use them as soon as they come up. Uh, there's nothing that you need to prioritize. Just make sure when the flame comes down, you strafe out of that. Uh, it's the easiest way to, so you can continue to um, DPS the boss. I always try to like be casting something I can uh, do on the move, whether it's rapid fire there or if it's uh, a steady shot or an arcane shot. Like I said, this is pretty easy. There's not too much to deal with on heroic. There's just if it if they throw the tank onto you, uh, make sure you disengage back so you're out of the group. Uh, when the tank lands on you, he's going to hit you. You can pop a cooldown if you'd like. Uh, turtle, I wouldn't say is necessary for it, uh, but survival of the fittest might be uh, good there. Uh, and then make sure you walk the tank back. That I can't stress that enough because a tank that is feared cannot tank the boss and he needs to get back to the boss as soon as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely consider subscribing and check out some of the other videos I have on my channel. Until my next live stream or video, I'll see you guys later.